Hi and welcome to our fifth video in which we look at some more capabilities of the Tektronix MDO3104 oscilloscope. On the bench today we have a Tektronix demo board which is a source of signals that may be used to demonstrate some operations performed by Tektronix 3000 and 4000 series oscilloscopes. Here is the demo one board. Take care when removing it from the anti-static packaging. The problem is that your body can easily acquire an imperceptible electrostatic charge and transfer it to the board, instantly frying components such as MOSFETs, which have insulated gates. The extremely high input impedance means that the devices will see high voltages at their gates and be instantly destroyed. They won't look any different, but the entire board may never work again. This is less likely to happen on a humid day when the moisture in the air continually bleeds down any electrostatic charge you may acquire. It is more likely to happen in a heated building on a cold winter day. Preventive measures include wearing a grounded anti-static bracelet or periodically touching a grounded conductive object such as the outer housing of one of the BNC connectors at the inputs on the front panel of the oscilloscope. Also, it is prudent to handle the demo board as little as possible, holding it by the edges only so, so, so that sensitive terminals and traces are not contacted. Like much of today's electronic equipment, the demo board receives its power through a USB cable. In this case, it is an unusual T-shaped cable that has two A connectors at the input end. They plug into USB host ports on the oscilloscope. One of these USB connectors and associate, associated cable would not have enough ampacity to power the 1.05 amp peak current that is required by the demo board. To avoid an overcurrent event, Plug both A connectors into the oscilloscope USB ports before attaching the single USB B connector at the other end of the cable to the demo board. The sole purpose of the USB connection is to provide power for the demo board. This cable does not carry data. When both ends of this unique USB cable have been connected, one red and two green LEDs turn on and remain lighted, indicating that the demo board is powered up. Using a 50 ohm BNC cable, connect the demo board to the input of the oscilloscope's RF channel. At the oscilloscope end, an N to BNC adapter is needed. That completes the Tektronix demo board installation phase. The board is applicable to the Tektronix MDO 3000 and 4000 series oscilloscopes. These models have on-screen tutorials describing demonstrations that make use of waveforms extracted by connecting probe tips and ground reference leads to specified terminals on the demo board. The two oscilloscope models, however, have different, different demonstrations due to their contrasting capabilities. What they have in common is the way the tutorials are accessed. First, push the utility button on the dis under the display. Push utility page and then turn multi-purpose knob A down to demo. The menu bar at the bottom of the display lists the available demonstrations that pertain to the two Tektronix series oscilloscopes. For the MDO series, they are DPO, MSO, serial bus, Spectrum Analyzer, AFG, and DVM. 
For the MDO 4000 series, the available demonstrations are multiple peaks, spectrogram, VCOPLL, ASK modulation, frequency HOP, and capture bandwidth. These waveforms are obtained by connecting the ground reference lead to the ground terminal on the demo board and the probe tip to specified high terminals. It is suggested that the hook type probe tip is used. Probe tips can be changed using available hardware. Prior to any demonstration, push Recall Demo Setup in the menu bar to the right of the display to automatically configure the oscilloscope for each demonstration. Thanks for watching. In another video, we'll look a little deeper into the demo board and see some of the waveforms that we can extract from it.